So this is the Valkyria. Mortal. It is precisely as the legends say. A single ring bound to the man, another to the woman, a covenant to bring her forth, a wedding vow to serve him. He who masters this ring gains an oath of obedience from the godlike entity within, inside a female human's mortal coil. A marriage with death itself, more curse than blessing, no? My power is one of destruction. It exists to destroy you, mortals. This power shall doubtlessly lead this world to ruin. Slowly, but surely. And yet, you still seek me out, mortal. Perhaps you yourself seek- Ha! It matters not. One day, I will rule the entire world, for richer or poorer for sickness or health, for better or worse. You are mine. They never change. What? They never change at all. You are the same as all the other human vermin who once desired my power. The Azure Light brings ruin. How many times must I warn all of you? Will you not realize until that time is upon you? Are mortals that foolish? Is that all you wish to speak? Then forever hold your peace. Kneel before me. Your name? Brunhild. Rejoice, Brunhild, for I am not like any other man. I shall prove it to you by taking your power for myself. Our power! <laughs> How foolish. It seems humanity does not change. Authority, honor, power. For egotistic desires, they extend their hands toward forces beyond their understanding. They do not realize that their greed tightens the noose around their necks. Foolish they may be, however. They are strong. Overflowing with ambition. Vitality. Indeed, just as he was. With the power of this ring, I have obtained a body in this world once again. No matter what this man's ambitions are, I... I shall continue my atonement until the day I rid the world of the Azure Light. to watch Her Highness train. But, but, Pifi's so fine. The way she moves her body, how she holds a sword, her shining aura. It's elegant, cute, cool, classic, and quirky all at once. I'll never get tired of looking at her, ever. Oh, dear. Well, I can't argue with that. Those are the fruits of her labor, sown from the seeds of diligent practice since childhood. Ah, uh, seeds? Fruits? My, my, need I remind you? Her Highness hails from Jutland's ancient and honorable royal family. As distinguished nobility, she has been tutored in various disciplines since she was a young child. She began piano and ballet lessons at three years old. Violin from four. Fencing she started a little late, at the age of six. 
The princess's martial grace is a product of her experience, as both a fencer and a ballerina. Oh, okay. So will I be like Fifi if I do all that stuff too? Sounds like so much fun! Let me try! I want to dance around the battlefield like she does! My, are you sure you're ready for that kind of commitment? How many hardships do you suppose the princess endured to be able to move like that? Huh? I don't know. For fencing, she'd practice her form all through the night. Her highness's hands were covered with blisters. As for ballet lessons, I'm not sure how often her toes became drenched in blood, perfecting her pirouettes. E Ew! Blisters in blood? Just thinking about it hurts. Were her teachers really that mean? Nay, it was the princess who wouldn't stop practicing, even after her tutors told her to take it easy. Until she could master the proper form or a graceful turn, there was no stopping her. Why'd Fifi go so extreme? That is simply Her Highness's personality. She only looks ahead, and she never stops moving forward. Once Milady starts, she can't slow down till the very end. Though her lessons are over, her persevering nature is not. No matter how busy her official duties keep her, even after the most harrowing of missions, she never slacks off. The way she carries herself thereby grew from the work ethic planted by her tutelage. Huh. So that's what you meant by fruits and seeds. So what say you? Ready to start training like milady? What? Um, well, maybe? I gotta be drenched in blood and covered with blisters, eh? And I'd have to do it in between missions, so that's a little... And no way I could afford those fancy teachers. Oh, no need to hold back there. If you really are committed, I'll personally introduce you to some excellent instructors. Their schedules have been open since the princess graduated. Mind you, these tutors have trained the kingdom's finest, so I'm sure they'll put you through the mill. Swinging a sword until your entire palm is one gaping sore, pirouetting till the floor is stained red with blood. Sarah, what marvelous timing! Would you like to accompany me in practicing my swordplay? Yikes! P practice? Indeed. I could use a training partner. Nope, nah, -uh. no way! Training scary! Hmm? Whatever is the matter? You and I do it all the time. <laughs> Sarah's almost as much fun to tease as my brother. Huh.